Hello! Welcome back to Anne's Amazing Adventures. I want to thank everyone that left comments for me. I just haven't had the right computer the last couple of days to get on and, and reply, but I will. Now I've got my computer running again. <laughs> I've got uh, it set up in the front like I was trying to do last week. So, um, I did get my Team U order in, so I'll just show you what I got. Um, I was going to bring my phone over here so I could tell you the price I paid for them. And, uh, I forgot, so just hold on a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what happens when you're not very organized. And I really thought I was. I thought, well, I piled everything up here beside me so I could show you what I got. <laughs> then I forgot to get my phone. My hair did look better when I was in town, but I was outside working on my new little furnace. Um, I've got all the parts except four inch clamps, so now I gotta go to town again tomorrow and get some clamps so that I can uh, put the heat <laughs> in through the window. <laughs> So yeah, you know, all my uh, my uh, trips to town. I figured yesterday I had to go to Red Deer. I had um, appointments, and uh, I went in, and <laughs> oh gosh, I can't get this. My fingers are, my hands are shaking. I've done a bit too much today, and that's what happens when I when I do. All right, let's just see. So my little heater was the is the Vivor heater, and I got it for $169, um, mainly because it had all the parts and everything in it. But now I get down to putting it together, and the parts aren't working anyway. So I might as well have got the other one for 134 and then got my own parts. But anyways, I'll, I'll use it because it's here and I don't feel like waiting on another one. All right, so then I got this cap. Where is the order here? There we are. I got this little cap. slides around. I can't get, uh, don't know what I'm doing here. Um, anyways, it's a little leopard cap. It's quite nice. I don't like the size of the peak, but that's okay. And it's got this kind of a um, snap on it. Um, it's like a claw tooth, like a, like a jaw tooth clip in there. So I put it in like that, and then I fold the, the excess over, because if I put a wig on, then the cap would be too small. But it's going to work. I like it. I like the leopard, of course. <laughs> of course, everything is with me is leopard. I also got one of these, because I'd seen a few other ladies try it, where you put it in your hair and wrap it around, and then um, it curls it softly. <laughs> softly <laughs> so I hope it works I haven't tried it yet of course I just got all this stuff in I also got this little thing this was only a couple dollars I think but it's got like a bun maker it's got uh, this is for braids this is to make buns with it's got a comb and it's got all these little things that you can uh, not sure what those are for but I'll figure them out I'm sure I know they go into your hair for a ponytail, maybe as a decoration, I guess. But anyways, I'm anxious to try that because I can never braid my own hair in the back. So I thought, well, I'm going to try this. So those were only a couple dollars each for those. I don't know because I can't seem to bring up my order to tell you how much the cap was. But mind you, most of the stuff that... Uh, 
the prices change so often that uh, that I uh, can't if I give you the prices and then they change then you're gonna say well that it wasn't that price when I got it so I don't want to uh, really tell you what the prices were because I've already you know that within 30 days after your or from the time you your order is shipped um, you can go back on TMU and get a price adjustment if the prices have gone down or up or well gone down they will give you a refund and that goes on for 30 days I believe after you get it I also got my little drone in so I'm kind of anxious to uh, get trying this as well so it's a uh, it, it's a cheapie, but I mean, I don't want an expensive one to try my first first drone. So there you go. There's what it looks like. It's got a camera right here that moves up and down. And it's got a camera underneath right there. So I can't wait to uh, start trying that. It's also got the remote. Um... Uh, this is the remote control for it. These things are nothing. They don't do anything. They're just decoration, I guess. But this takes three um, AA, triple or double A batteries. And then this is where your phone goes to fly to videotape. Because it doesn't have an SD card in it. So my phone would f fits right in here underneath it. So you just have to put an app on and um, on your phone, and then you don't need the SD card, and you can take the videos or pictures off of your phone. It also comes with three batteries, this soft case, which I'm pretty sure isn't going to save it from anything. So there's <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's got a, <laughs> of course, it's got the the. Uh, scan to get the right app and it's got a big direction booklet it's got a couple extra um, blades in it plus it's got these uh, these uh, propeller um, they say to put these on when you're inside but I think I'll be putting mine I put mine on when I'm outside too but they just slip on like that. So, whoops. <laughs> Trying to do this in a hurry. Oh my gosh. It does go on there. They just, so that it, it protects your blades. So you're not having to buy new blades right off the get-go. So, I've flown it a few times, but nothing serious yet. Because I'm a little scared of it. It gets up and it just goes. I've started it up a few times in the house and poor little Henry just doesn't know what to think. So I don't do it very often. <laughs> and yeah, so that's the drone. And then I also picked up myself some, um, I'm not even gonna look at prices anymore. These jeans. I think they're kind of cute. They got nice uh, stitching on the patch. And they've got a little bit of a flare, but not a big one. they are uh, got that, um, what do you call it? Creasing? No, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm getting old. <laughs> That's my excuse. But I haven't tried them on yet. Once I try them on and everything, I will show you how, how they looked. This is, I'm sure everyone has seen this on Team U. It's beautiful. It's, it's gradient in color. It goes from this beautiful turquoise teal blue. Then it goes down to purple, pink. At the bottom, it's quite pink. And I thought this would be a nice... Um, warm warm top to wear in the winter but it's that 
slinky, silly material. Doesn't even tell you. Oh, 100% polyester is what it is. For heaven's sakes. But, and I didn't read that part. It'll, it'll look nice with a pair of jeans or dress pants. Then, of course, last year I kind of got rid of most of my winter clothes, right? So I ordered this little shirt. It's nice and fluffy. I don't know why they put black buttons on it, to be quite honest with you. But it's okay. It's really cute. It's nice and fluffy. And it'll be a nice, like, sweater type deal that I can uh, throw on in the fall or the winter if I need something underneath a, another coat. All right, this stuff I got from the secondhand store and the dollar stores in Rocky, and our dollar stores are not dollar stores in Rocky. There's nothing under a dollar. There's no, <laughs> they're more like two and three dollars. So this is blue ribbon. I got two of them, and then I got some pretty, it's like a bright fuchsia. I got some yellow, um, what other colors did I get, some orange I think, yeah, some bright orange. So there's four different colors there that I've got. And then I got this material at the secondhand store. It's quite pretty. I have to make myself a ribbon skirt. I ran into a friend of mine yesterday and she would like me to come and help her at the uh, Friendship Center on Monday for Re Reconciliation Day. She's making the soup. So I got to make a skirt. So this is the material I got to make it with. It's got beautiful, it almost looks like upholstery, but once I get the ribbons on there, I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Um, and there's enough material in it. So, and I paid $2 for this. So I think I did pretty good on that. I paid more for the ribbon than I did for the material, which is uncommon. <laughs> and then of course I picked up all my parts for my my uh, furnace, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show you those. I'm pretty sure you're not interested in those. Plus, I needed some gas hinges for my one door. They um, screwed up last winter, and every time I open that door, it just about kills me because it's so heavy. So you'll see over there, right there, I'm doing diamond painting um, in the evenings and this one that I'm doing I I think I did pick it up at a secondhand store is where I think I got it I don't think I got it off of Team U but anyways it's very pretty it's a lighthouse and cabin with all kinds of waves and the dark sky so I'm I'm just about done it when I'm finished it I will let you uh, have a look at it so that's about everything for today. I'm sorry I look so rough, but like I said, I was outside working on the furnace, but so much for that idea. I'll get, get her done tomorrow, but maybe I'll take that and you can have a look at and see what I'm doing out there. I'll see if I can set up something to uh, videotape me while I'm working out there. All right. Thank you very much for popping in. I really appreciate you ladies coming back to see me. I've missed you all so much. So have an amazing day. God be with you. And ciao for now.